What's up guys, it's West Coast Bricks and welcome to another LEGO review today. Today we'll be looking at LEGO Star Wars set 75334. This is an 8 plus set and it's Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader with 408 pieces. This set retails for a high $50 here in the US. We'll jump into the price a little bit later and how much it affects the set, but this set does include four minifigs and as always, let's take a look at the box art. Up front we have the little battle scene with Vader and Kenobi with some extra characters, which we'll get into a little bit, and some fire. Um, on the left side, we see all the metrics for the set, all the um, data for that. In the bottom left-hand corner, we see Vader and Kenobi for the box art. And we have the blue stripe showing it's from Kenobi from the TV show. Flipping over to the back side of the box, up top, we have some of the play features that show um, Vader and Kenobi fighting. In the middle, we have another picture, or I guess it's kind of a side view, of the battle scene and the whole entirety of the build. And down below, we have some more play features that this set includes in. So let's hop into the minifigs. The first minifig we get in this set is Tala Durith. Tala is in her kind of commander outfit, her officer outfit, as you would say. She has really nice printing on the torso, showing her rankings with the blue and red dots on the upper right with her belt. And on the back side, we have some basic printing that blends in very nicely. She is wielding a blaster and she only has one face print because I think the back side would show through. And then she has that officer hat as well. The second and most anticipated minifig for this set is Ned B. Ned B has really good printing from the toes to the legs and all the way up to the torso. And Ned B's torso is kind of like a uh, molded um, molded piece. It's all in one as we see in most of the like kind of the CMF series, which is really nice. And Ned B also has two different colored arms, which is super sweet and some printed tiles or this little printed slope piece for his backpack. And he is also wielding kind of his shovel that we see in the TV show in his little workshop. This fig is honestly going to be really pricey in the future because Ned B technically dies in Kenobi unless somehow he comes back. But this is going to be the only set we could get him in for the near future. Not to mention Ned B is a pretty big teddy bear. And he's a really lovable character in the TV show. So everyone loved him. And he has a really good printed head, um, custom molded head, let alone that. And it's a really good fig to have in your collection. The next minifig we do receive is Kenobi. Kenobi has his brown robes or his Jedi robes. And we kind of have that double uh, depth in his torso. We see his kind of white or beige um, undershirt. Then we have his robes on top. And then Kenobi has two face prints and his long mullet-ish hair. I know it's not really a mullet, but he has that long hair in the Kenobi show. And then he has that new frosted blue blade for his lightsaber, which is really nice. Good touch. Overall, good fig. And you get another cool Kenobi mini. And the last minifig we do receive is the brand new Darth Vader from the Kenobi show. Starting from the bottom, we have some really nice printing on the legs that works its way up through the waist and into the torso. This new torso for this Darth Vader is super sweet with all the new buttons and gadgets. And then we actually have arm printing on this Vader as well. I think the last Vader we had arm printing on was, uh, I think it was the meditation chamber and also the final duel scene, which is really nice. Vader also has that new frosted lightsaber as well, which looks really nice. I love how they switched it um, to the frosted blades because I think the old ones looked a little... Uh, unrealistic compared to these new frosted tips. Underneath his helmet, we have a brand new flesh tone head for Vader. Honestly, this is probably the best decision they have made. I know it's earlier in the timeline, so that's why they kind of switched it over to the flesh tone look for the Vader slash Anakin. It looks great, and I love how they switched it so over. So Vader does use that paper um, cape material that kind of crinkles, which I don't think anyone likes. They like the new sponge material uh, capes they're offering, so I wish they used that for Vader. But underneath the cape, he does have some basic back printing to complete the minifig. Overall, great fig and a brand new Vader for your collection. Here's a 2022 Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. Okay, so first glance of this set, honestly, it's not too bad if you have the minifig. Make things a little bit better. If you want 10% off this set that's really overpriced, head over to Entertainment Earth right there. I have an affiliated link. You get 10% off your order and you can get this set. Help support the page, so go check it out. Around the build, we have different colors of gray pieces and slopes to build up the platform that they battle on. It's just supposed to be like kind of a scrapyard type of scene. So it's supposed to be a little junky with the colors and you get, it resembles that. Honestly, it also the set is pretty junky itself, but we have a little pull for extra detail. Uh, we have this little fire uh, play a feature that we'll touch on in a little bit. And we can actually 
half fire come up in the middle. There is a lever right here that we first pull off the side and that pops up via a rubber band and some Technic workings in the middle. Some Technic workings in the middle and then the fire pops up and then we have some extra uh, cheese slope translucent orange pieces to show like it kind of bursting out. So that's pretty cool right there. Now I will say the best way to display this set in general is having uh, Kenobi on one side and then Vader doing the force choke, reenacting the scene from Kenobi. I think that's the best way to display the set um, is having that specific scene because without the minifigs, this set is just a gray pancake and it's unappealing on the shelf into the eye. In the back corner, we have Tala overlooking the battle scene on her little rock. I know in the, the actual TV show, it's further away, but they do a great job of kind of uh, referencing that. They have a little built up rock showing that, that she's kind of like looking out. And then right here, we have kind of more of the fire uh, barrel machinery right here. Not exactly what sure what it's supposed to be, but it's a great detail to make up for this set. And then we have Ned B right here. I'm not sure exactly why Ned B was included in this set because he technically was not in the scene at the very time. I'm actually glad that we got him because he's not going to be remade since he died in the scene prior. So it's good that we have him in this small set right here. So other than the fire feature in the middle that separates the whole build, we do have these turntables for Obi-Wan and Kenobi kind of like fight each other. We could kind of, it's kind of like that dual Mustafar set. We kind of make them fight right there. And then on the back left corner, we actually have what I like to call, and many other people in the Star Wars community call it, is the nacho cheese fight. There is a lever in the back and you fling it and the cheese kind of goes flying. It's kind of, got to kind of like hit it hard. Then the fire goes everywhere, just like the TV show. So that's a decent little play feature. So overall, this set is very underwhelming. For $50, I would definitely not pick this up if I was you. Um, luckily I got it for $40 through Costco on a $10 discount. Even, even at $40, it's still a push because this is a minifig driven set and the minifigs are great, but the build sucks. But the one thing that can save this set is if you have your minifigs displayed on it. Um, but a lot of people like to display their minifigs in cases or in like little stands. So it's understandable if you don't, but if you do not display your minifigs on this set, like um, how it's kind of shown on the box art or in the TV show, you're going to hate this set. It's going to be on your shelf um, empty or it's going to be in your bin lost and never to be found because it's just a big gray pancake taking up space. So one of my suggestions I would have had for this set is to tile off the back or the whole border of the set just like the dioramas. I think that would have been way better because it is a play set with some play features, but it is a display set. It's a display scene. It's an iconic scene in the Kenobi show. And I think you should have made it more a display slash play set. I think it would have been a lot better and it wouldn't have gotten so much gripe from the LEGO Star Wars community. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the set. Are you gonna pick it up a little bit earlier in its lifetime due to the minifigs being super good? Or are you gonna wait till close to retirement because it's super overpriced or like the clearance deal? And as always, this is West Coast Bricks signing off.